The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa on the occasion of his visit to Cairo and his participation as the guest of honor at the 6th Conference of the Arab Parliament. The Deputy Premier conveyed to the President the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa and their wishes for continued progress and prosperity for Egypt. He expressed sincere congratulations for renewing the confidence placed in him by the brotherly Egyptian Egyptian people by electing him as president of Egypt for a new presidential term, wishing him success in performing his national responsibilities. He praised the advanced levels of joint work and mutual coordination witnessed by the Bahraini Egyptian relations in light of the keenness and interest attached by the leaderships of both countries to strengthening these relations and advancing them towards broader horizons to benefit the two countries and their people. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa received the Development Pioneers Medal which is awarded by the Arab Parliament to distinguish Arab figures who are not parliamentarians as he is the first Arab official to receive this honor in appreciation of his contributions and recognition of his valuable initiatives in the field of development and the national and Arab levels. During his speech, the Deputy Premier has expressed his pride in dedicating this honor to His Majesty the King, noting that the Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed unprecedented development during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the democratic experience in Bahrain that produced a competent elite of society. He affirmed the Kingdom's support for parliamentary work in general, including the Arab Parliament and support to achieve its goals. He added that Bahrain has taken realistic and tangible steps towards making many achievements in various areas of development to achieve these sustainable development goals. The Deputy Premier pointed out the importance of the Arab Summit in its 33rd edition which will be hosted by Bahrain on the 16th of May which will discuss the necessity of stopping the escalation in the Middle East ensuring the establishment of comprehensive and just peace and regional security and stability. For his part the Speaker of the Arab Parliament Adil Asumi expressed his great pride in this well-deserved honor for the Deputy Prime Minister. He added that this honoring sends a message of appreciation and gratitude for the role and efforts of the Deputy Premier in the fields of sustainable development. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, has a national imprint that contributes diligently to creating the modern and contemporary renaissance of Bahrain. He has a rich history in national work and a career full of giving and government administrative work. He has devoted his life to serving the Kingdom of Bahrain. He represents a model and a comprehensive personality in the field of giving. The Deputy Premier lived in a family environment that encouraged science, where he began his studying career in Al-Hidayah al, al Khalifiya school, and then he completed his higher education in Egypt, where he specialized in studying civil engineering in Cairo University in 1966 with a bachelor's degree. The Deputy Premier held the position of road engineer in the Public Works Department. He was the first Bahraini engineer to specialize in designing and implementing roads. He helped develop a comprehensive general plan for the country's road network. He rose through his career until he assumed the political position. He was the first minister of housing in Bahrain, and the government that was formed in 1975, where he contributed to providing the government with policies that encouraged the development of the social housing sector in order to achieve the leadership's vision and aspirations to provide decent housing for Bahraini citizens. He also supervised the establishment of the housing bank, and Bahrain witnessed during his tenure the establishment of many residential cities. Since 2010, he continued to hold the position of Deputy Prime Minister. He also chairs the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, devoting most of his experience to serving and developing the sector, which is witnessing rapid development thanks to the government's efforts under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Arab Parliament honored Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah and awarded him the Development Pioneers Medal in recognition of his pioneering role, his development contributions, and his active participation in creating an economic renaissance in the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, delivered a speech during the sixth conference of the Arab Parliament and the heads of Arab councils and parliaments in Egypt. He affirmed that uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain pays great importance to modern digital and technical systems activating artificial intelligence tools and integrating them with the pace of comprehensive development progress thanks to the keenness of His Majesty the King in developing a comprehensive national plan that ensures full readiness to deal with the requirements of the digital economy. He added that the cooperation Cooperation between the executive authority headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister with the legislative authority resulted in the launch of several qualitative initiatives in line with the government program 2022-2026. Adam Salem pointed out that the Bahraini Parliament has developed specialized legislative plans that include the effective ethical use of technology. He pointed out that artificial intelligence has become an influential force requiring the employment of efforts and capabilities and moving in a manner consistent with the acceleration in smart systems, mechanisms and industries. He stressed the urgent need to approve and advance legislative structure for artificial intelligence. The speaker extended his sincere appreciation to the President of Egypt for his outstanding efforts in supporting our parliamentary work. He also congratulated the Deputy Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of awarding him the Development Pioneers Medal in recognition of his high contributions and his distinguished role in enhancing cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. He expressed his thanks and gratitude to the Speaker of the Representatives Council of Egypt for the good reception and generous hospitality and appreciated the Arab Parliament headed by Adil Azumi for the good organization and preparation of the conference. The Speaker of the Ashura Council, Ali Saleh, delivered a speech during the sixth conference of the Arab Parliament and the heads of Arab councils and parliaments in Egypt. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, pays great attention to the field of information technology and digital and technological developments and possesses a system of advanced legislation and laws in the field of information and communications technology. He indicated that Bahrain continues to build on its achievements and is taking advanced steps in terms of developing the information technology sector with a follow up of his role. Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the continuous efforts made by Team Bahrain. Asal added that artificial intelligence systems and softwares are developing rapidly, indicating that artificial intelligence technologies may have negative effects if they are used without consideration. He noted that the conference's topic is important and pivotal and gives a new dimension to Arab cooperation, which is the parliamentary dimension in achieving the safe employment of artificial intelligence. He affirmed solidarity and full support for common Arab issues, most notably the Palestinian cause, reiterating the firm position of of the Kingdom of Bahrain towards the Palestinian cause. The chairman congratulated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the high Arab honor, stressing that, is, that he is one of Bahrain's loyal citizens who makes notable contributions for the progress and uh, renaissance of Bahrain and consolidating areas of development and cooperation with Arab countries. With the participation of the Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, the activities of the Arab Labour Conference in its 50th sessions were launched in Baghdad under the patronage of the Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed al Sudani and in the presence of Labour Ministers of a number of Arab countries. The event focused on the challenges of human resources in the Arab countries and discussed a group of important topics on the agenda that addressed vital issues affecting the market. The conference will uh, discuss the future of human resources in light of the technological revolution and how to prepare prepare the workforce in the future with a focus on training and continuing education to enhance the skills necessary, necessary to adapt to technological changes in order to create new job opportunities and improve working conditions. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, inaugurated the 13th edition of the Bahrain Training and Pre-Employment Education Exhibition and the Education and Job Market Forum in the presence of the chairperson of Midpoint Events, Sheikh Noor bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The minister affirmed the growing interest of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in developing the national human resources and enhancing their professional level to become the preferred choice in the job market. He emphasized the importance of elevating the education and training system in alignment 
combining academic specializations, particularly at the university level, with the requirements of the labor market in Bahrain. For her part, uh, Sheikh Noura expressed her appreciation for the government's support of such specialized exhibitions targeted towards students and parents. She highlighted the benefits of direct interaction with young people to guide and prepare them for the job market. She emphasized the importance of supporting the youth and utilizing quality employment and training opportunities, ensuring they make optimal choices for their professional careers that align with their academic qualifications and personal abilities. My role in this exhibition was to do coverage for our university, take interviews with students as well as pictures. Um, the importance of, of this exhibition is uh, great because there are a lot of students who are about to graduate high school who are not sure which university they want to go to or they're not sure which major they want to choose. So them coming here and getting to know all the universities and their major is a great thing. About Arab Open University, we every year uh, participating in this, uh, in this exhibition, which is important to us to guide the students. Yeah, and for example, Arab Open University is providing high education uh, in terms of uh, business administration, in terms of IT, social media. So we have many fields, to be honest. And we proudly, uh, proudly accept any student uh, at our university. Uh, it was um, really impressive to see all these uh, kids coming, asking about uh, programs and at what are the future careers and careers opportunity that will be given to them. Applied Science University, uh, from the title, mixes applied with theoretical, and then we are offering students much more than theory. We offer them practice. We offer them uh, a mix of uh, practical knowledge that and skills that will um, uh, give them a better opportunity in the job market. Now, Ahri University has introduced a number of new, uh, new programs. So we have a new program, BSc in Nutrition and BSc in Dietetics. And we have, of course, programs from BSc, MSc to the PhD. This particular event, uh, which is hosted by this B training, uh, and midpoint is a great opportunity for all of us to uh, identify the future jobs. We had the opportunity of meeting different schools across the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, we had the ability to help them decide on a program that is suitable for them uh, that would help them pave the way for their future careers. Uh, as uh, the BIBF um, offers students uh, the opportunity of studying in the Kingdom of Bahrain yet attain a, an international qualification, we work closely with international universities such as Bangor University and the University of London, uh, offering students the opportunity of attaining an international qualification locally. Based on an employability survey, we had 88% of our students um, um, attain job opportunities upon a year after graduation. We as University uh, of Technology of Bahrain, we are very keen on participating in such events and this is very important. Today <clears throat> we had hundreds of students, girls and boys coming from all schools, of government and private schools of Bahrain and they kept asking about specializations, what is good for us and then they get to, uh, they get to be introduced to whatever is available in the job market, what are the future jobs that they can uh, actually prepare themselves for. So this is really good, this is really fruitful and we are very keen on attending these um, kinds of events. The Minister of Tourism, Vat Masirafi, convened a meeting with a delegation from the Principality of Monaco to discuss enhancing collaboration in the tourism and hospitality sector and fostering stronger partnerships. The aim was to leverage shared experiences and exchange insights to bolster the tourism industry in both nations. The minister provided the delegation with an overview of the Kingdom of Bahrain's tourism strategy for 2022-2026, which is designed to double the tourism sector's contributions to the GDP, diversifying the tourism production and attracting a more diverse range of out tourists. During the meeting, al Rafi reaffirmed Bahrain's commitment to supporting all initiatives aimed at accelerating the growth and recovery of the global tourism sector and enhancing its performance across all fronts and affirmed its readiness to forge endurance relationships with travel and tourism agencies as well as official entities involving in tourism in the, in the Principality of Monaco. The Monaco delegation on their part expressed their utmost satisfaction and solidifying tourism connections with the Kingdom of Bahrain, underlying their enthusiasm for further tourism cooperation and jointly crafting strategic plans for the industry.
The Kingdom of Bahrain and the People's Republic of China held the first round of their political consultations. The session was co-chaired by the Political Affairs Undersecretary at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs of China, Deng Li. The Political Affairs Undersecretary underlined Bahrain's keenness to strengthen and broaden its cooperation with China across the political, economic, scientific, cultural, and technical fields to serve common interests. Said Deng Li has affirmed his country's interest in a strengthening political and economic cooperation and coordination with the kingdom in a way that would serve the interests of the countries and their people as well as contribute to enhancing regional and international security and peace. Both delegations discussed the latest regional and global developments including the ongoing efforts aimed at reaching an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, delivering humanitarian aid to civilians, avoiding military escalations and reducing tensions in addition to endeavors to establishing just and comprehensive peace regionally and globally as well as promote peaceful coexistence among cultures and civilizations. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to participate actively in various Arab and international forums concerned with human rights to affirm its commitment to preserving human rights as a national priority. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues its efforts in the field of human rights, which embodies its commitment to preserving rights and continuing to build on the achievements made in this field. This interest of the Kingdom in reviewing comprehensive and periodic reports and discussing them transparently and effectively comes to highlight the national efforts that distinguishes it as a leader in the field of human rights, which reflects the Kingdom's keenness to developing its system of advanced legislation and procedures concerned with the protection of human rights. The success of the Kingdom's delegations in these discussions clearly expresses the pioneering progress in enhancing the respect for human rights in various areas, as it is one of the results of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The series of successive achievements witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain have made it a model for developing a comprehensive framework for human rights as a national priority. Bahrain always affirms its constant keenness to respecting human rights and civil, political, economic, social and cultural freedoms to preserve human dignity without discrimination and to enhance communication with various parties and organizations concerned in this regard. Widespread praise and international recognition for the Kingdom reflects the reality of the development and progress witnessed by Bahrain in terms of preserving and protecting human rights, which affirms Bahrain's established and authentic approach derived from its civilizational and humanitarian values to continue strengthening its position and its determination to move forward in order to achieve peace at the regional and international levels. A two-day event showcasing local mulberry farmers and their products took place this weekend at the permanent Bahrain Farmers Market in Hurtali. The event brought together many vendors and farmers who display their delicious berries, which is much loved in the Kingdom of Bahrain and is currently in season. The event included fresh mulberry harvests of countless farmers aside from mulberry products, saplings and grafting mulberry trees. The Bahrain Mulberry event will take place on Friday and Saturday from, the, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The farmer's market gives local producers a retail outlet that enables them to sell directly to the public and to strengthen the link between producer and consumer. It contributes in achieving food security in the kingdom and promotes sustainable agriculture. Currently here, here mulberry fests are going on for mulberry ice creams, fresh mulberries. They are all because in my country mulberries are so precious like this very tasty fruit that's why we are coming here currently we are we we come every saturday for buying fresh fruits vegetables also foods cafes etc The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Azumi, delivered a speech during the 6th Conference of the Arab Parliament and the heads of Arab Councils and Parliaments. He affirmed that the involvement of Arab countries in the artificial intelligence system has become an imperative to catching up with the global movement in this field to benefit from the advantages that artificial intelligence technology provides. At the same time, he warned of the dangers and challenges it raises 
He also affirmed the Arab Parliament's keenness to developing a robust legislative framework to regulate the use of artificial intelligence. He added that the Arab Parliament submitted a document that includes a number of recommendations and Parliament reviews regarding the governance of artificial intelligence, which will be submitted during the upcoming Arab summit.